wasn't that cool? <laughs> oh, I, that's awesome. I got to thank uh, Matthew Ruddick for putting that together for me. He just hit me up and was like, hey, man, I got some extra time. I want to put something together for you. Awesome. Thank you, man. I figured I'd throw that in there. I put some music to it. Uh, that's pretty sweet. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, let's see uh, if we can get some people in here. Uh, basically, the plan today is to take this guy and turn it into uh, an actual racing uh, phenomenon, <laughs> the Tiny Whip Racer. So I'm just going to chill here. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because, I, I mean, it's it's getting kind of late here. I need to go to bed. i got to work tomorrow. But uh, I've got all the parts I need. I mean, here is the, uh, oh, the <laughs> durable beetle-looking tank of an Inductrix FPV. Uh, we've got uh, some some of the Yashin props. I've got the ever so famous special sauce motors. You definitely need the new pigtail. Uh, I don't like the stock Inductrix camera and I think you all know that I love the FX900 TW cam. It is the perfect, perfect, perfect cam for uh, the perfect camera for a tiny whoop. Uh, and then especially if you're doing, if you're building acro whoop, uh, you get that VAS T style dipole. Oh my God. Super light. That's sweet. And then obviously some uh, tiny whoop high voltage batteries. Let me get uh, my stuff pulled up. There's money in the chat. Yeah, there is. Uh, Kitty, yes, you did. Uh, you did see an intro. Uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew Ruddick, uh, also known as Drucky, the guy we've been racing with in this series, he, uh, he put that together for me. So uh, thank you very much, Matthew. I really appreciate that. That thing is hot. It's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Dan White, how's it going, man? I'm doing good. I'm just sitting here about to build a tiny whip racer. Mason Manning, hello. Uh, Mason Manning asks, what's the best motors for the Inductrix FPV? Let's see. So are you keeping just all of this together and just changing the motors? Uh, then you need some special sauce motors highly suggest special sauce um, yeah uh, special sauce is a great primo primo motor for uh, for these tiny loops even if you are just keeping the inductrix uh, keeping it stock like this just changing out the motors at least special sauce because this is very heavy this is quite a a couple grams or even a few grams heavier than uh, what we would consider a Primo TWR. So at least get some special sauce. Head over to tinyloop.com, pick those up today. You won't regret it, I promise. Yes, uh, Mason, a bigger battery and connector. Uh, you can see here this uh, 2.0 connector. I think we, we, we've just kind of called it the power loop. You can see, let's see if I can frame this up. Sizable difference there. And then um, even if you don't charge to high voltage, excuse me, you can still, you can take these to standard voltage. They're amazing batteries. They're lighter than a standard LiPo. Uh, they're just some great batteries. So definitely try to uh, ride the high voltage train for sure. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining y'all. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? 12 of y'all in here. Make sure you like this video, share it all over Facebook if you want, because uh, we're going to build, build a racer today. What's up? Can y'all hear the music okay? I'm still playing around with audio levels and, uh, and OBS. Kind of tricky, but we're working on it. 
uh, why would you not charge the HB? Uh, not all chargers are capable of charging to high voltage. Uh, so like when I first started, I my charger couldn't do high voltage, but these batteries, like I said, are amazing. So I picked some up and just used them at standard voltage. Uh, plus, when we race, um, I'm kind of used to it. I like to keep the, the high voltage uh, to really get that extra punch on the first lap or two. Uh, but most of the time, the good racers don't don't charge the full uh, high voltage. They charge the standard voltage and, and race like that because that extra voltage definitely creates some oscillations. Uh, and it can be it can be hard to, to fly through if your if your board isn't uh, in good shape, I guess, or um, if it's not tuned correctly. If you're running a B brain or an Acro Whoop or a Beta FPV board or an Alien Whoop, uh, so yeah, that, that's why you wouldn't charge to uh, to high voltage. Hang on, let me grab you a bunch of people out of my Light Tracks group. Hell yeah, bring them in, dude. Kitty says the music level is fine. Thank you so much. I worked really hard to get that. I, I wanted to start streaming like 20 minutes ago, but I want I want to create a nice environment for all of us to just hang out and chill, listen to some music, watch me fuck around with a tiny whoop. And uh, yeah, appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, what do I think about the B-Brain B2? That thing. Oh, life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. Uh, I would love to do like a comparison video because I still have my B-Brain V1. But I don't know what it was. It, and it might have just been a while since I flew my, my B-Brain. But one, I just built a, a V2. And that thing is just, oh my god, it's so smooth. I'm running the, the V2 with ludicrous motors and bi-blade props. It is a dream to fly. I didn't need to tune it at all. I mean, I probably, I'll go back in and, and, and tune it and mess around with that. Because uh, that's just that's just how I am. But I mean, right out of the box, I don't notice anything wrong with it. It is great. Uh, I I still follow that that B brain or not the B brain, uh, but the the tiny whoop uh, tiny whoop tiny tune video I did uh, about tuning pids on a tiny whoop. I still follow that same process. And uh, <coughs> and I uh, there was no bounce for me at all in any of my flips or rolls. So it's that board is awesome. Love it. Uh, hey, what's up, Valencio? How's it going, man? Let's see where we at. The Pope 67. I'm a bit late, but do you prefer the 205 battery versus 255? I really like the 205 because it's lighter. What do you think? Uh, both have their applications. I... Uh, so I'm in the process of changing my setup on my racer. Uh, I'm trying a different uh, a different KV of motor that hopefully um, I won't talk too much about that, but trying a new KV. And, and so at at first glance, I didn't like the extra weight of the 255. So. Yeah, I think I prefer, for racing, I prefer uh, the 205. When I was racing with the Awesome Sauce last week or the, or the week before, uh, the 255 was the way to go because I think that thing's drawing so much power uh, that I just needed a 255 to get me through the entire two-minute race. Um, so I, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, if you're Awesome Sauce, uh, Awesome Sauce Racing, 255s. They can handle the extra weight, and you need the extra battery life to get through the race. Uh, but anything below that, 205 for sure for racing and for Acura as well. So they they each have their their applications. Uh, also, if you're uh, if you're like treescaping, or if you're flying around trying to get some good uh, good tiny boot footage, just in a in a crowd or uh, wherever you may be, uh, 255s are great. You get a little extra flight time, and uh, you don't. Yeah, uh, they each have their applications. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've got a lot of feedback on that tune video. Uh, I definitely can't take all the credit for that. I mean, you got to learn somewhere, right? Uh, I think the majority of that tune came from Kevin Doherty, Stinger Swarm. Uh, I really enjoyed how he tuned his pids. It was very good follow. 
and I kind of I kind of took that and adapted it to the the tiny week, and I brought it to y'all. So uh, I didn't I, I didn't come up with that on my own. Thank you for the props on that. Uh, no pun intended, but uh, yeah, I gotta give credit to uh, Stinger Swarm for that. Um, I am about to transform this inductor FPV into a tiny bit racer. Have a session at the end. What kind of what kind of session? Like rotor rush? Probably not. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for coming in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get get building because I don't. Uh... <laughs> yeah, quality is better. No, yeah, no kitchen table. Um, streaming with my uh, with my HD cam. I'm not in a rush to get this out. So, <laughs> man, I can't believe that. Ugh. Can't believe how shitty that turned out. What the fuck? What was I thinking? Hey, but lesson learned, man. Whatever. The giveaway is out there. Uh, people are, are are getting the message. We're getting some comments. I think we're over like 100 comments. Uh, some of them in the count. I'm pretty sure are mine because I'm responding to everybody. But we're, we're getting up there. And I'm approaching a thousand subscribers very quickly. Very quickly. <clears throat> Let's see. I wonder if I can. Sh let me share. Give me a moment. Let me share this into uh, our Tiny Whoop group. And, and Dan. And Dan. We will. Uh, we'll start building. Where's the page at? Here we go. <coughs> That's a great thumbnail, YouTube. Thanks for that. Holy smokes. Uh, oh God. Whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and post it for Roto Riot, too. Fuck it. Put it in the fuck it bucket. Put it on Roto Riot. Right. And lastly, let's do the mini quad club. Get some people in here. Let's get building. If you guys have any questions, definitely ask. Ask away. I'll answer anything you got. Yeah, so there's there's the shares. There's the shares. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get going. So I've got... Uh, enough talking, enough bullshitting. I will put up the uh, what you might call it, the comments, so I can see what y'all are saying, uh, and I'll answer questions as I go. You're not gonna be able to see my face anymore. Sorry, and you're welcome at the same time. So I'm gonna kind of adjust this cam. I wish I had. I need two cameras so I can have my face so you can see me and see see the bench here. But I've only got one for now. So, let's go down to the workbench. And I will try my damnedest to keep everything in the frame. Uh, let's see what we got. Um, <laughs> the Pope got it. And then, uh, I got a comment on my angle mode flip video. I don't know who that's from, but uh, yeah, that was a, that was a good video. That one was a lot of fun. If you didn't know, you can flip in angle mode. You just have to. I still got to do that tutorial. Damn it! I have got to do that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> can you donate? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Um, I don't have any of that set up yet. I don't think I'm. Although I see Bot Grinder getting a lot of, he gets a lot of support. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, um, some extra hardware. So if you are uh, transforming your Inductrix FPV, these uh, these screws are very tiny, and they won't uh, they will not hold down your camera mount. They just, let me see if I can get it. Uh, 
it will just okay so that one sticks in there but whatever what the fuck ever uh they're pretty tiny and i would <laughs> i would not trust them so make sure you get some extra uh, extra screws to hold on your your camera mount so I'm just going to start by removing the canopy here. Let me get the lens cover off there. It's not out all the way yet, I guess. Come on. <coughs> one of those. Oh, there's one in the back, too. Yeah. I haven't done this in a while. So there's one in the back that you need to take out. And uh, you'll need to uh, change that screw out as well. Can I not fucking reach that damn screw with this screwdriver I got? <laughs> Son of a bitch. I don't think I can. How the fuck have I gotten that before? I searched through my drum parts here. Or my, uh, my tool chest. I can't fucking reach that. What the fuck? Drone Daddy. What's up, man? Uh, we are transforming. They're <laughs> trying to. If I can get this damn canopy off. And I can't get it because this is too fat to reach down there. Um. <laughs> what a noob. What a fucking noob. Goodness gracious, how the fuck am I gonna get this out? I guess I can just like rip it out. Whatever, I don't suggest this. Nope, I don't wanna do that. Heard a crack and I don't like that noise. Dude. Fuck this thing. Haha. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, the canopy weighs a ton. It's a fucking tank, man. This I don't know what they were thinking. Like, They did such a good job on this frame using some kind of light plastic. And then they come out with this... Ugh, fucking tank of a shell. Like, what were they thinking? <clears throat> I have tried Mockingbird. Not the Kalman filters. Uh, I don't know if it's... It, that's still in kind of like the <coughs> what do they call it um, the unsta yeah unstable it's still in the unstable release I haven't tried any Kalman filters yet but yes Mockingbird fucking rocks I have that on my V2 with my uh, with my ludicrous motors and byblade props and that thing is oh that thing is so sweet so awesome yeah, I need to find one. I know I have one around here. I just don't know where the fuck it is. I'm so pissed right now. I forgot about that back screw there. I wonder if I can just fucking jam in here and get down to it. <laughs> Did I get it? Nope, not even close. What a hole. Wow. What a hole. <laughs> If you can name where that movie's from, I'll be very impressed. Wow! What a hole! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can go find this other smaller screwdriver I got. Uh, you guys hang out. I'll leave the inductors here to entertain the kids. Uh, while I'm gone, fucking share. Share this shit. Get some people in here. We'll start hanging out. I'll answer some questions, whatever you got, and yeah, we'll have some fun. Fuck, I don't know where the screwdriver is. All right, I'll be right back. Red line, what up, dude? What's up? Be right back.
<laughs> All right, we're back. We are back in action. I've got. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so you need to remove the three tiny ass screws, and that is why you need another set of hardware. Uh, because while I did prove before the uh, those tiny screws, I guess will hold up in the uh, mounting holes of the camera. Um, it will not hold up in the back. It'll just kind of like the 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 size of the head on that screw is smaller than the what you call it the rubber grommets that mount the flight controller. So you need some new hardware. Um, let me catch up a little bit. Uh, so Redline's in here. What's up, man? Or he was. I'm not sure if he's still here. Uh, thanks for coming in, bruh. <sighs> Too fast RC FPV. Why does my whoop wander from left to right like it has been drinking? Uh, because you've been drinking. Corey Maloney says Home Alone 2. Yes. Thank you, sir. That is where it's from. Wow. What a hole. Awesome. <laughs> I love you now. We just became best friends. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jeff. Yep, that's what I said. Because uh, you've been drinking. Uh, yeah, you can trim. Let me try and do this as I answer these questions. Uh, so, really quick, I'm just using a small pair, pair of tweezers to uh, lift these motors out. These motors are shit. You don't want these. Get some special sauce. Go over to tinywoop.com. Get you some real motors for a tiny loop. Um trim my friend go get you some trim that'll fix it um, like mason likes the live thanks man i like the live too i like hanging out with you guys yes uh calibrating your accelerometer can work too if it's not, if it's a, if it's a B brain, I need to share that picture more. There is, uh, I don't know if you guys knew that. I don't have it on my, on my computer, so I can't just pull it up. But there is uh, stick commands for the the B brain, so that you. Holy fuck, that hurt. Why isn't that coming out? What is that? Let me get rid of that. Uh, yeah, so you can just, uh, I think accelerate col kilometer accelerometer is uh, so obviously when you're not armed um, your throttle is up and left so throttle up y'all left and pitch back pitch down that will calibrate your accelerometer it's pretty cool pretty, pretty cool man so here we go uh, I'll deal with this later I guess First thing I'm going to do is disconnect this camera and this whole fucking chunk of bullshit. Just get rid of it. My God, the thing is heavy and unnecessary. And now we got to fuck. Oh, I forgot about all this shit. Got to get through all of this. Um, see if I can get close enough to... Uh, I wonder if, if I just heat up the back, that'll just pull out. Why won't my camera... Hey, there it is. That's focusing now. This cam is supposed to be autofocus, but it's not really working all that well. Oh, um, all of your hardware, take it off and set it to the side so you don't lose it. Put it in a baggie or whatever. Don't try to keep it on there. They're not really meant to stay there as you're definitely as you're working on them so just fucking take it off put it in a safe place save it for later um i'm gonna kind of start to uh just tear away at this nasty shit that's on here i have not tried the unicorn motors i have not what are they something like twenty-five thousand kv or some shit and they're still um 15 millimeter motors Oh, and I see Redline responding. He was still in here. 
again don't know if he's still in here but uh he was uh it's it's going well man i'm uh i'm getting some whoops prepped for the invitational bro i am super excited to meet all of y'all and uh to have a good time it's just gonna be a good time i was initially planning on um just driving down and back every day because i'm like an hour away from the hq <laughs> but from the sounds of it i'm gonna need to stay down there i might try to crash on the couch uh in the hq or something i don't know i don't know where i'm gonna go yeah it's going good man it's going well had a good day at work today got to show off everything that we do yeah i'm gonna go ahead and turn my <clears throat> soldering iron on and see if i can just come from the back side here um, heat up those joints for the connectors and pull it right out and then i'll clean it off after i get it out There we go. Now the soldering iron's heating up. Let me get these fucking tools out of here. If you're looking for a tiny pair of little tools like this, I found these at like dollar store or something when I first got into this hobby. Dollar store, man. It's awesome. But then I then I got sponsored by Cobalt. And so I, they sent me this awesome little tool. It's nice. It comes with all these, um, oh, there's different types. I can do. I can change motor screws, tiny whoops. I'm kidding. I'm not sponsored by fucking Cobalt. Oh my god. This isn't NASCAR. NASCAR, woo! <coughs> yeah, man. I'm right at the street. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm kind of spoiled right now. I mean, heck, just the other day I went down and hung out with Jesse. I don't know if y'all saw that ridiculous uh, video he posted onto uh, Instagram, but that was a result of uh, one, me helping him with OBS, and two, him trying to find a way to fade a uh, <laughs> fade a video into transparency. And so he fade in, in Premiere he faded the video to a green screen and then he tried to chroma key that green screen in OBS and that was that ridiculous fade that uh <laughs> that you saw if you saw that video oh it's hilarious you're cracking up about that uh, hey what's up Wes how's it going man I'm here building I'm building like a nerd a drone nerd I need some helping hands man I need like and and not the not the inanimate fucking the clips. I'm talking like I want people <laughs> to come in here. I need a hand. Hold this. That kind of that kind of stuff. Let's see how I can do this. Normally I just uh, uh, what's up, Rocco? <coughs> Let's see. <laughs> I need to get warmed up. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah, I'd say get going, man. I ain't taking it easy on nobody, especially any of y'all. It's going down, dude. I think my dogs need to go out. Let me let them out real quick. Sorry. Be right back. You know, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be to monitor the comments. I want to monitor everyone. I want to answer every question. Uh, if you have a question, I can at Neutron me, like tag me so I can see it. Because I don't want to miss anything. 
don't want to miss an opportunity to learn you something. Ow, fuck, that's hot. Oh, this is annoying. How the fuck am I going to get this out of here? You know, I might just, uh, might just cut it. very crude I'm just fucking oh there it is it's melting I wish I had another hand to fucking pull on that end damn it yeah this music is killing it right now Ugh, fuck that's hot yeah as I said I don't have any helping hands so normally I just like set shit on top of maybe this heavy ass fucking inductrix canopy is enough to Hold it down. Nope. Not even good at that. Oh, camera for the stream is the Logitech fucking something. I don't even know the code on it. It's a Logitech. <coughs> um, so yeah, it's 1080p. There was something like, you could, I found it on... Amazon for like 60 bucks or something or 90 bucks something like that. I can't remember. Oh Come ow fuck that's hot. I cannot get this shit out of here. My build might be ruined because I can't get this bullshit out of here So first of all, I'm just gonna Take these to it check this shit out <laughs> Question sir, how do I fix my relationship? Fuck. I don't know man. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just gonna nip the fuck out of that. Just nip it right out. Just don't cut any chips. Will it focus? Focus on the board. Focus on the board. Come on. It won't focus on the board. This sucks, man. I need a camera that will focus on my board. I'm gonna get down in here and boom sausage gone <coughs> I have I have I, I I do like the idea of keeping this clip to the camera because uh, that makes maintenance kind of easier but I don't find myself removing my camera very much for my tiny whoop to do maintenance so uh, I'm not gonna do it here now let me see if I can pry these things out of here. Hey, that's such a good idea. Double-sided tape to fucking stick this thing down. I like the way you think. So, da -da -da -da. get this out of here. Now I just smash those wires everywhere. There it is. Okay, so sorry for the crudeness of this build, like, well, so far. I mean, I'm just fucking cutting at it and scraping at it, trying to get this shit out of here. I didn't bring, I didn't plan on doing this when I woke up. Uh, so I didn't have a solder sucker at work that really helps with some of this kind of stuff. Hey, we're getting it, man.
flux. I know the word, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've never no. I don't I don't use flux. I don't I, I probably should. But I'm just I don't know. I, I'm very I'm very meticulous with things. And I mean but I'm still a noob at I'm still a noob at, at heart, you know what I mean? I've only been doing this for a year. So could I get better? Could I I've got more to learn. For sure. A Weller desolder station. That sounds nice. Fucking pair of heat gloves. God damn. <coughs> Shit, it's getting hot. Sorry, I'm bringing it off screen. I gotta get get a closer look at what's going on here. Let me try to get some more of this stuff off. It's almost like they put this silicone shit on here to try to prevent you from doing anything to it. If you're having a problem with it, just <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, goodness. Be careful, but I like to take a really pointy pair of these tweezers and scrape that shit away. I've also got a. Uh, this little brush. Wow, you focus nicely on that brush camera. Wow, thank you for focusing on my stupid little brush and not my board. Kind of get that in there and scrape it away. Now I'm gonna come from this side and push this shit out. that notification there it comes got it all right finally so I got that shit out of there okay You know, I was really hoping that I could just like post this and it be a build video, but it's definitely not going to be. Definitely not. And I don't expect anybody to go back and watch this entire video. <laughs> so my view duration is going to be like fucking five minutes. <clears throat> uh, let me see what we got. How many we got in here? Still a few people. I've been going on 41 minutes and I just got the fu Oh my god. Oh goodness. <coughs> <coughs> I need work in my life. I need I need help. I need some milk. Ooh, full screen view. Let's drink this a little bit. Awesome. Okay. So I've got those pigtails out. I wanted to actually do a like a comparison video. Do some flights with the stock inductor FPV. Uh, 
but I don't I don't even have any of these tiny ass batteries anywhere. I, I have no idea. I have none. So uh, I guess that kind of hopefully that'll drive home if you haven't made the switch to the bigger connector should drive home uh, the fact that you should upgrade. There's no reason not to use this bigger the bigger battery connector and bigger battery. FTB, yes. Uh, <laughs> time flies when you're having fun. Very true. And when you've got uh, Gin and Powerade. So, cheers, y'all. Um, Ashton, I don't think you're still here, but uh, shout out to him because I learned this trick from him. Uh, when you get this new pigtail, a good length to cut it to is actually to line it up with a, uh, a 205 battery and that's a good length right there so thank you Ashton for that tip I really appreciate that if you haven't checked him out uh, go find uh, redline F I think FPV is his channel redline FPV awesome pilot uh, he absolutely rips I cannot wait to to hang out with him at the invitational coming up soon Okay, so uh, now I'm, oh sorry, I'm not in frame. Uh, now I'm just stripping the, uh, the silicone from the wire here. And then I'm gonna pre-tin the board and, and my new battery lead. Let's see, so normally, again, I don't have any helping hands, so I will just kind of, uh, prop up my wire like that and then I bring in okay let's turn this something a little black come on So there's that. Those are ready to go. My battery is going to go on the uh, on the back side. this camera focus anymore come on focus here focus on my can I manually do this I can I can pull this up and do it Let's see how's that look if I move it up and down oh that looks much better perfect okay I can get down with that. I just gotta remember to change that back <coughs> when I'm done. Oh, that's so much better, dude. Fuck autofocus. Shit's gotta go on. Okay, let's get going here. Uh, so, <coughs> now let's pretend these really quick. They are through holes, but I can never, you, unless you have a solder sucker, you can't get the through hole open again. And you've got to do, you've got to do the battery on one side and the cam on the other. So just, um, don't even worry about the through hole. Smoke. Bridge right now. That's okay. We will fix that. Much better, right? Thank you. Look at that. So what a nice, shiny solder joint bridging both my 
Now we'll just take this right through here and uh, boom. Just kind of stick it right in the middle. Give another one just for good measure. And then. Also going to do the same on the top. Double check and make sure this, make sure all that silicone is out of the way. For the most part. And then <coughs> pretend the top side a bit. Fucking drop through the hole. So yeah, if you if you're not careful, it'll drop through the hole. And I've got this big old. You see it kind of fell through. Big old drop on the other side. I'm gonna heat that up. Try to send it back through a little bit. I don't want them to be bricks. That's not a good idea. Okay, so I got enough on that to work with. Um, so <coughs> I'm gonna put my battery lead on. Uh, board faces that way. Or the front is that way. The power is more towards the inside of the board. I'm gonna go ahead and start there. I want to kind of. I'm going to look backwards. I'm going to turn it this way. See if I can get in here without sure what's going on here. Um, I have something to hold that down. Let me use that. Open hands. Boom sausage. I learned that from my commander. Boom sausage. Okay. And so, yeah, just kind of twist this up a little bit. <coughs> Boom, there you have it. I don't have a multimeter, so, you know, the best way to well, obviously, you know, double check your work and make sure nothing's bridged. Looking clear, so you just uh, plug in a battery. No smoke, good to go. <laughs> Do the old smoke test, make sure everything's good. That's not the way you want to go. Oh, blue tack, I never thought about that. I don't have any laying around, but I could definitely use that. That'd be nice. 
Okay, so next I'm gonna get my, where'd I put my camera? Oh, it's right in front of my face. Next I'm gonna get my camera and uh, put that to the top side. <coughs> Again, the power is to the inside. I mean, obviously, if you and if you don't remember, you just flip it over and look up oh, from the inside. I just put the power there. Use my solder to hold my shit down again. <coughs> so I have uh, the Pope is one of everyone's flying. I have a five inch um, Martian 2 frame. I really enjoy it. It's got some uh, RDQ badass racing motors on it. I also have a, uh, a four inch that I love to race with. Much better, much better. Um, and then <laughs> one of my favorites that I just built uh, is a micro brushless. It's a Torrent 110. Uh, but I, I swapped out the frame for the Lynx, um, or Gosh, I guess that's how you say it. It's capital G, lowercase OS, capital H, 2 frame. I don't, I don't know, Gosh. Um, but yeah, that thing is sick. That thing is a blast to fly around. Uh, Jeff Suits RC Addiction gave me a sub. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, I mean, if you don't like what's going on, I mean, don't feel like you have to sub. And, and that's a conversation for another day. I actually had a long rant in my head about, uh, about that. You know, if you don't like my shit, then don't sub. I'm not forcing you to sub. I'm just putting my channel out there. Some people were bitching about me posting a link to my channel saying, hey, I'm... Uh, doing a giveaway or, or no, I was, I, I, I said I was daydreaming about, uh, if half of the, <laughs> half of the tiny whip group would subscribe to my channel, uh, I'd have like 12,000 subscribers cause that tiny whip group is huge and people, there were only a couple of people. A lot of people were very open to it and very supportive. Um, people that I, that I, I'm involved with right now. Uh, but some people were like, well, if you pay me, I'll sub. I'm not going to sub if you're begging me. Bro, I'm not fucking begging you. Just, if you like my shit, sub. If not, then move on. Go watch something else. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, uh, <laughs> there's there's the camera soldered on. I'm definitely going to have to edit this later and make a build out of it. Because right now we're just chilling and I'm taking way too long. Uh, but I've got my camera soldered on. I'm going to double check my solder joints. They look good. And they're not shorted out. Uh, just to be safe, I, I do like to uh, brush them up a little bit. And always pay attention. If uh, be careful of like splatter, because uh, you'll see little smoke trails come off your solder as you're soldering something. If those little balls get stuck down in, you know, like and bridge one of these tiny little whatever your little little pieces or, or get stuck somewhere uh, that could be bad news uh, so again I don't have a multimeter so uh, let's do the old smoke test plug in a battery boom sausage <coughs> board is good cameras getting power ready to rock so that's good to go <coughs> Shit, I don't know why I'm coughing I'm so sorry 
Um, I'm going to save these tiny little, little vans because I like them. Very easy to lose. Like that. That just shot somewhere. I don't know where it went. Over here. Um, so now we're going to take the props off. little tool go there it is yeah. looks like a little divot fixer well, that was easy these stock props kind of suck I'm gonna take these props off and then we'll get these motors out why are these coming off so easy I might just be able to lift this off I can you should not be able to do that if you can just lift your motors off that's uh, that's not right. That's not good. Um, so let's get these motors out. The best way I've found is I use my fingertips, my fingernails, to push on the bottoms of the motor that's exposed. Uh, but then I also support on the top side uh, one finger on each motor strut to make sure that I don't break that and kind of keep pressure down as I push the motor out. These ones are coming out really easily. I'm probably going to be able to pull them out. Yep, this fucking grab and twist. Uh, and these motors, you can throw them away, keep them as toys, magnets to play with, little fidget toys, whatever you want. Uh, we're gonna take these out. That one's not. That's uh, okay. That one's a little tighter. So I'm gonna take a little tool and. Uh, Still, I'm going to push on the bottom of the motor, but I'm still going to brace each motor strut. It's very important, I think, to brace each motor strut. Because those are, those are always the first things to break. Push it out of there. And we are almost there. If I could have just started off good and not be missing the screwdriver, I need to take this shit off. Ugh, come on. Ugh. Okay, those ones are just coming out. It's easy. This could be like a 30 minute video. But now we're going on, let me see the time. Um, we're going on an hour. I promise you, <laughs> a tiny whip build does not take an hour. I am uh, bullshitting a lot. I'm not bullshitting, I mean, I'm answering some questions, staying engaged. Uh, <laughs> it does not take this long. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, I'm gonna put in my motors. Oh, one thing you can do as well, um, just because these little extra tabs on the inside here, those, I'm gonna cut those off. My uh, clippers here are definitely wearing out big time. I mean, I'm, I don't even think on a, I don't even think this weight is measurable, but we have a saying in the military with our gear. Uh, I learned from a good buddy here actually that I teach with ounces equal pounds and pounds equal suck. And what that means is when you're packing your gear for a mission, you don't need to take every fucking thing that you got. You take what you need. That's And that's also why you have... Get the fuck off of here. That's why you have different team members you know, assigned to do different things. One person isn't going to do everything. That's because they can't carry everything. Uh, so pack your gear accordingly. Pack smart. And uh, stay light, lean, and lethal. Same thing with this tiny whoop here. Um, granted, those these tiny little pieces, I don't even know where they went when I cut them. Here's one right here. I doubt that little piece weighs anything. But if I think that, if I take that same mentality and I start putting stickers all over the tiny whoop and I paint my canopy and I paint my frame, like, oh, that, that, this doesn't amount to anything. When you do all those little things, they uh, 
they do amount up to some suck. Those tiny little micro or, you know, milligrams or whatever they, they would add up to will add up to a gram. And then you're wondering why your shit's so heavy. Okay, so uh, tiny uh, boards, the inductrix board, the motors spin outwards, spin away from the front of the cam. Uh, so we got our uh, black and white motors are counterclockwise. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them in the correct spot. I do like to uh, wind my, my motor wires. A lot of, looks like a, quite a bit of chatter going on in here. That's, I like that. So wind those up. Be careful not to twist them too tight. And I, I haven't done it yet, but I mean, it's very possible to uh, twist it so hard that you pull out of a wire. But be careful. It's getting late. I need to hurry. I need to hurry. <coughs> Why am I coughing so much? It must be the must be this gin making me coffee. Is that a thing to be coffee? Sorry, I can't come to work. I'm coffee. Like C O U G H Y. Because I gotta. <laughs> God, I'm retarded. I need to stay in frame, damn it. I thought about marking out a little box on my uh, table to, to show, like, work here. <laughs> and clearly I'm not following that, that advice I gave to myself. Definitely going to need some post-production on this video to shorten it down into a quick, tiny loop build. But hey, <coughs> it's all good. <coughs> it's all good in the hood. All right, we are on the home stretch. I'm going to get my uh, rubber grommets here. I can't wait to fly this. I'm building this because I'm, I need a direct comparison between some motors that I'm testing. If all goes well, I didn't say this at the beginning, so those of y'all that have stuck around so far get a little Easter egg from me. If all goes well, I have these special sauce motors on a TWR, I have some other motors on a, a a whoop that I built uh, I could potentially have my own signature series of motors we shall see we'll see how it goes but I'm very hopeful I'm looking for a, uh, a racing motor that's in between special sauce and insane give you just a little extra kick which is definitely what I need uh, when racing. I want, I want, I want that edge. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so it's kind of tricky to get that FC on there uh, with all those rubber grommets, but just as long as you place it down square uh, and push them all down at the same time, you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows about this, but this receiver antenna, I like to. Oh shit! Can't pull on it too hard, or else it'll your shit out I like to uh, pull this straight up and then when I mount my camera I actually I'll show you I bend it backwards so it's actually sticking up uh, underneath the canopy that's how I fly my whoops that is uh, 
how I had it set up for my thousand meter whoop video. So take it for what you will. I think it holds some merit that you definitely get some better range when you stick your uh, when you stick your receiver antenna up like that. Makes sense, right? I like to use tweezers to hold these tiny little screws. Hold them in place. Start screwing them in. Good to go. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna need another one. So here's where my little bago hardware comes into play. Into into play here. back and get this one on the front and now take another one and stick it through the camera mount here and then place it on down into the hole Same thing on this side. On the other side. Where's the hole at? Am I in it? Am I in the hole? I think I'm in there. Oh my god, it's in. It's in. Oh my god. God, that cracks me up whenever I see that movie. Fucking McLovin. Oh my god, it's in. <laughs> we can all relate, right? We can all relate. I need a canopy. That's what I'm missing. Bro, and there's the. Oh, I gotta put my motors in. Gotta plug them in. <coughs> yeah Wes let's do it dude uh, if you're coming to the Invitational I will gladly throw down I will throw it down let's go long distance dude long distance long long distance with a whoop is fun long distance with a tiny whoop there's something about it that is uh I've never flown long distance with my mini quads, really. But, I mean, and there's only so much. I don't know if we can really call it long distance or long range. But for a tiny whoop, that's long range of shit. So be there. Cool. Hell yeah, dude. We'll, uh, <laughs> we gotta find a strip down there and, uh, and, and just go, just fly straight out. Let's go. Um, okay. So the next pain in the ass here is uh, I used to wrap my motor wires around my motor mount, but now I tuck them in. It's kind of a pain to get them all. Be very careful doing this. Don't be like, don't be a fucking brute and just start grabbing shit and pulling. Be careful of these chips underneath. I don't want you to rip anything off or poke anything off trying to get these motor wires under here but yeah I think it's best to tuck them under uh, so then you can basically just kind of once you put this um, once you put a little rubber band on here and secure that wire down you can really like have it follow that that motor strut I mean look and there's no like there's no additional drag being being uh, produced there because of your motor wires and stuff. So 
if you're extra clean with this stuff, I think it'll I think it'll pay off. Careful right here, there's some, some chips down there I don't want to pull off. We're in there. Can't hear me? Oh shit. Was I too far away? Was I way out here and you couldn't hear me? My bad. Sorry, that's that's so tough. I'm trying. I need to move my camera in maybe a little closer. That way I can be close to my whoop and be seeing what I'm doing, but also be close to my microphone. Over the lake. Let's do it, dude. Let's find a lake. I mean, I'll, I'll put one down for it. That'd be some good video. Or we should put some uh, put some foamies or something on the bottom of them. So if they do fail safe, they st <laughs> they fl they float. I think I've seen a video of that somewhere. Someone with a floating whoop. song stop all of a sudden that's weird oh this takes forever I think I have been sick, and I, I notice every time I, at night, I get a little coffee. <laughs> There's that coffee joke again. Coffee as in C-O-U-G-H-Y, not C-O-F-F-E, -E, coffee. Guillermo Nespalo. Hi there. Hello, man. What's up? Welcome to the channel. So there it is. I need a canopy. Let me put this fat fuck right there. Uh, to follow the theme of the special sauce, I am going to put on some red, red props. Be careful putting on these props, because uh, you can damage the the motor strut if you have to push down too hard. You can definitely damage the motor. Uh, <clears throat> so what uh, Cody Cooper has suggested is. Um, keeping a spare motor that like a bad motor just in your in your kit and then when you put on a new pair of props just shove it on there kind of loosen up that mounting hole a little bit that way when you put them on your good motors uh, they just slip right on I need to find a canopy canopy I think I have one. I'll be right back. So here we go. I got a uh, good old custom. What happened there? Goodness. 
before I get to that, this uh, receiver antenna, I like to stick it up and just kind of bend it back just a little bit over top of the camera. Like that. And then place your canopy on there. Good to go. Need to hide those wires a little bit. Didn't see those before. Boom, there we go. So let me throw this battery in here really quick. Get it into bind mode and bind her up and watch her take her off. What are cable condoms? Well, there you have it. There's the whoop build. Uh, I definitely suggest uh, taking this thing and uh, probably for the first three flights, I get about three minutes per flight. Uh, hovering, you know, just nice and gently, you know, hover right there. Don't do anything crazy. Hover for about three flights, so about nine to eight, nine, ten minutes of flight uh, to kind of, it might be a theory. There might be no weight behind it right now, uh, but I. I mean, better play it safe, right? Um, yeah, so break him in a little bit. Two or three flights, be good to go. Let's come back up here. What is up? We are back. Got the whoop built. Yeah, dude. That's good. And that's a TWR right there. I'm at 30... 30% throttle right now, and that hovers. And that's when you know you have a good build. Uh, nice and light, nice and powerful. Uh, that's a good tiny little bracer right there. All oh, the rubber bands are um, cable condoms. Cool, I like that. So here, here we go. These are the test, those are the test motors. I'm super excited. There's still the 15 millimeters, still the standard size, so you can fly in the Inductrix, the standard frame. Uh, now I have one to uh, directly test right next to it. We'll see. We'll see how they do, man. We'll see how they do. I am done after what seems like forever. I put this fucking tiny whoop kit up there like it was gonna mean something. Like, like it's gonna change the fact that I got this orange ass wall. That's what I use for my green screen during my streams. It works, whatever. Uh, so that's gonna be it for me. Uh, thanks for joining in. I appreciate the support. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing else going on here. An hour and 20 minutes, not a bad stream. Um, just hanging out and building the tiny whip racer. Hope I might edit this down into a, a just a, an actual build video. Probably not. Let's be honest. Probably not. But it's a thought. We'll see what happens. Uh, nothing else going on in the chat. Guillermo uh, Nespalo, Nes, Nespalo, I think that's his name. Says hey there. <coughs> Put naked girl son the. What? Put naked girls on the back. Naked girls on the back? Dude, is this like a game of Mad Gab right now? Holy shit. Put naked girls on the back. Oh, back here. Gotcha. No, I'm, I'm good. I, I, I'll put... I can put my Ninja Turtle helmet up there. You know? That's my son. Little kitty Ninja Turtle. But yeah. Okay. Yo, Scott, what's up, man? You just missed it. I took an hour to build a fucking tiny whip racer. Just because I'm sitting here bullshitting and messing around. But, uh, yeah. It's built. It's done. Uh, I was telling these guys, this is a... Uh, so this is basically this, the recipe for a tiny whip racer. Uh, if you guys haven't seen 
uh, Scott Keats. If you go over to his, to his page right now, let me uh, see if I can tag him. I don't know if you can click on the tags I put in here. Uh, let me do that. I don't know if you can click on that. Uh, but go to his page. Uh, Scott, link your page in here, man, so they can see that. He's got a good uh, transformation video uh, of taking an Inductrix FPV to a tiny roof racer, which is basically what I just did right here. Uh, he does it much faster <laughs> than I did in this live stream. Um, but, yeah, this is, that's, that's what's going on. Anyway, um, hopefully I'll be able to show you Scott down at the Invitational uh, here in a couple weeks. Uh, I've got a Whoop right here that's running a, a secret sauce of motors right now. And I built this one so that I could have a direct comparison uh, off of special sauce. I'm hoping that these potentially could be could be my secret motors and I could have I don't know well I don't want I'm dreaming big here I'm thinking I could have you know my own neutron you know secret sauce uh, tiny whip motors we'll see they're more powerful than the special sauce they have a little extra kick uh, but they're not they're they're not insane so they're they're still calm but they just provide that you know that little extra kick in there. Uh, so maybe I'll uh, I'll get to share those with you down at the Invitational. But now that uh, I have these two built, it's time to get testing. I don't want to just throw out something just to have something, you know. I want it to be legit. So I'm gonna be testing these these two, you know, side by side, neck and neck for uh, probably the next couple weeks until the Invitational. And uh, I definitely want to race these motors, my my what I call my secret sauce right now, uh, down at the invitation. We'll see if I can win a race or two, and and prove that hey these things are nice. We'll see though. We will see. Uh, <coughs> um, yeah, Scott, they're uh, they're still the six by fifteen. That's what I like about them. I can fly the Inductrix frame. Still with the uh, you know the six by fifteen motors, they're just a little more powerful than special sauce. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I need to sign off. I need to go to bed. I gotta work tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I, I really appreciate it. I wonder if I can transition in that uh, that um, let me see here that ah, that video intro that Matt Ruddick uh, put together for me. Let me switch here. Give me one second because I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm totally going to do this. It's going to be my outro, too. Oh, yeah, this is happening. This is happening. So let's see if I can time this up right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. If not, then fucking move on. Whatever, I don't care. Uh, I'm not begging you for your subscription, Larry. Larry, I'm not begging you. If you want to subscribe, then subscribe. Subscribe. Sub. Sub. My wife made fun of me. I said sub the other day. She's like, look at you talking the lingo. Sub. If you want to sub, then sub, you know? No, no, no worries. Fucking subway all the way. Let's go. So let's see if I can transition into this. I am going to sign off for the night. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time. That did not work. So let me try to set this up again. Uh, and we'll see if it works this time. Oh, that's that's the issue. No, 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 stop, stop. Stop, stop. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, that's not what I wanted at all. That's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try this one more time. Transform. Let me fit to screen. This ought to work. Let me double check on the chat. See how bad you guys are making fun of me. Uh, <laughs> FTB says great stream. Uh, thanks. I appreciate it. I mean, it was it was all right. Uh, it wasn't the best. Uh, I finally figured out my zoom or not my zoom, but my focus. I can manually adjust that and I got a better view on the table. So learn that for next time, whatever. It's a learning process. I ain't gonna be fucking perfect. 
So don't expect perfection. I'm just me. I'm a man that do I do what I can. I'm a man that I do what I can. Doesn't make any sense, but here we go. Uh, I have a video intro, man. Uh, no, black, black screen is not my video intro. It's not my video intro. Here we go. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to sign off. We'll see you guys later. Uh, let me transition into this out this uh, video that uh, this guy made for me. I love it. It's awesome. Here we go. I'm gone. Later. Fuck, it's not working. Why is it not working? It's not working at all. Video intro. Let me find this here. It's right here. Neutron video intro right there. That's what I want right there. Okay, now fucking, why does it play it when I do this? Why? I don't want you to do this right now. Uh, my god why is this why are you doing this to me let's try this one more time still nothing still nothing <laughs> give uh, I'm about to give up man I don't know why this is doing it uh, is it because I'm midstream or maybe if I what if I go back to this mode here and I just click nothing? Why won't it play? I don't get it. Uh, so fuck it, I'm done. We're gonna <laughs> we're gone. I'll just transition to blank screen and we're out.